welcome back to the channel guys my name's Andy R and this is the Brotherhood of Men a channel solely dedicated to getting you men out there a better outcome in your life and today I want to talk directly to one guy a commenter now I think you uh, other brothers are going to get a bit of an insight in this uh, video because of what he asks and I think it's a really important subject now on my video that I did about why no man in the Western society today should ever get married don't contemplate it the deck is stacked against you he left this comment now his name is uh, I Imad N now if I cocked up your the pronunciation of your name my friend um, it's not intentional, I'm just an Englishman who, if it's not John or Peter or Christopher or something, <laughs> we tend to make a hash of other people's names. So this is what he says, and I'm reading it straight from the comments so that uh, I can get across exactly what he says. So, even if I am not planning to have children, what if I will sign a contract implies that the husband and wife's wealth is separate and none of them owe the other anything in case of divorce? Well, on that subject, um, I'm not a legal expert, so please take this as just my opinion. It's not my job to tell you what to think or even what to do. It's my job just to give my opinion to give some information and for you to find out for yourself what is best for you i've said it before and it's worth saying again a good teacher teaches you how to see a bad teacher teaches you what to see well that's the same here in the brotherhood a good brother teaches you how to see or how to make a decision a bad brother tells you what decision to make I'm not going to be a bad brother I'll give you my opinion and I'll give you the reasons for my opinion but you are the only person who can make the right choice for you now that might seem like a cop-out because you really the truth is Imaden is that you want to make the somebody make the decision for you and nobody can you have to make that decision for yourself. But I can give you my opinion. And my opinion doesn't change. I don't think any man in Western society... I mean, you don't say what country you're from. You have left a follow-up comment, which gives me a little bit of pause for thought. And I'm going to read that comment as well. So that my brothers out there can get the full story. So, the follow-up comment you left was and I'm reading again straight from the comment section I, I replied in the comments to Imad's comment with um, all good questions brother and I will be doing a separate video on that very subject soon so stay tuned all the best Andy R which then Imad replied with thanks brother but please, can you do it in a week or two because I am a fiancé of a Japanese lady who actually wants to marry in several weeks, though I am thinking of breaking up with her before, the, the, before that disaster happens to me. I want to know not only the economics and legal issues of maru, marriage, but also the mental wellness issues. Appreciate your help. Again, all good questions, but again, not ones that I should be making for you. When I said, when I said that um, I get a few red flags issued from that second comment, number one, you're already thinking of splitting up with her. Never mind about the marriage side of it, but literally breaking the relationship. Why? Is there some inner voice that's speaking to you saying something's not right here? I did a video on that. You should never ignore that inner voice. If something isn't right, getting married isn't going to make it right. 
just like some relationships they're on the rocks and then they decide to have a baby as though that's going to heal the relationship no all it's done is brought another element into something that already isn't right so if a little voice is telling you get out i shouldn't be entertaining this relationship never married getting married then listen to that little voice it's telling you this for a reason only you know what that reason is you also don't mention where in the world it is that you live so i'm going to assume it's a western country you need to know what the laws are in your country if you're in the united states you need to know what the laws are in each state to know where you stand but i still maintain the deck stacked against you now you mentioned that you're um, planning on marrying or not as from what your your message says uh, a japanese lady again a different culture different set of ideals some western men are going to the asian market if you like japan thailand indonesia etc looking for brides because they are more traditional they're more like the women that we want that are more traditional have higher standards for themselves than the women that we're being offered in the western world that doesn't matter it doesn't matter where you get married it's where the divorce is filed that's the important part so you could be married in outer mongolia with a legal certificate saying you are now husband and wife and like i said that document is a legally binding document with clauses in that you have no idea what they are so the first thing is find out what the clauses are of that country find out what you are expected what is expected of you in that contract you also ask about what is basically a prenuptial agreement well, for a start, not every country um, recognises prenuptial agreements. Here in England, prenuptial agreements have never been recognised. And there's a very good contract reason for that. If you were working and you had a contract, and then your employee brought you an amendment to that contract, in other words, a new clause to for, to replace an old clause or even a whole new contract because you've moved up in the company you've gone from supervisor to manager you get a new contract and in that it'll give you some probably different um, responsibilities for your new role plus a new pay scale a new holiday scale maybe but in that what happens is when you sign that new contract it supersedes the old contract the old contract becomes null and void so in england in my opinion the reason that um, prenuptial agreements are not recognized in law here is because when you sign the marriage contract the marriage license it supersedes anything before the marriage which is what a prenuptial marriage pre marriage prenuptial so the court goes well we're not even going to look at that because we have a new contract that supersedes the old one do you see i don't know how they would work with postnuptial but then again you have to have both parties sign a postnuptial so if you get married and then approach your now new wife and say i want to start you to sign this contract that lays out what we're going to divide between each other in the event of us getting married uh, in the event of us getting divorced sorry she'll go i'm not signing that and there's nothing you can do about it she's already got the contract she wanted which is the marriage contract the marriage license a legally binding contract that's in her favor and i often call it a slave certificate this is not legal advice i can't give legal advice because i'm not trained in the law all I can do is tell you my opinion on this subject. But my opinion is based in fact. It's based on my knowledge of what things are. I believe that in countries like the United States, where they do allow 
prenuptial agreements, it's only at the, um, the forbearance of the court that allows them to be heard. But as you've seen in your own media, a lot of prenups are actually failing in the divorce court because women will soon find a way to get around something they don't like. They will find a way of not having to face up to responsibility. So prenups, they can just go to court and say, I signed it under duress and it's thrown out. Even if they signed it 12 months before the marriage, the closer it gets to the marriage date and the time, even more so if it's a week before or a few weeks before, and you've put a condition on her signing a prenup by saying along these lines, if you don't sign it, we won't get married. She can then, when it comes to divorce, get the prenup thrown out because you have made an unreasonable demand. And therefore, she signed it under duress. And therefore, it's no longer enforceable. The courts are doing this more often now. They found a way round the prenup. Postnup? Why would she sign a postnup? That's not taken into consideration approaching a woman with a prenup. You are basically saying to the woman, I expect this marriage to fail. And this is how I want the assets being divided after the failure of the marriage we haven't even had yet. Yeah, good luck with that. That's not going to go down well at all. Because you're already talking about the end of the relationship before you've even started the married life. That's not going to make her feel very secure. So if you want to get out of the relationship, offer her a prenup and see what she does and then maybe use the fact that she doesn't want to sign one as a reason to end things i don't know like i say i'm just a good brother giving you ideas giving you knowledge what you do with that knowledge is absolutely up to you but you have to make that decision don't just stumble into a marriage because it's the easy route. Sometimes the hardest route is the one you should follow. The hardest route is the one that, that gives the most rewards. Following the path of least resistance is what water does, or electricity when you watch, it, watch lightning. You're not water and you're not electricity. You're a rational thinking man. And you need to be rational. You need to like I did in one video which was called Man Up. Assess the situation and make decisions on your knowledge. So I hope I answered. Now, you also mentioned in there what is what are the legal ramifications, what are the emotional ramifications. Well, studies used to say that married men live longer than unmarried men and are happier. Well, they're old studies. The more recent are saying that single men are the happiest they've ever been and actually are happier than married men or men in long-term relationships. Why is that? Probably because the marriages now are to women who are quite chaotic. Now, you say your fiancé is from Japan. It's a whole different culture there. The women do tend to be a little bit more traditional. In fact, men go on <laughs> marriage safaris looking for women from places like Russia and Japan and China and Thailand and Indonesia and because those women are far more traditional, far more like a wife used to be for us probably 50, 60 years ago. But we don't have that being offered to us in the Western world now. So only you can decide, only you can make the choice and decide whether, one, you get married and go through with it, two, you don't get married but carry on with the relationship, or three, end the relationship completely. I think you're aiming towards ending the relationship completely. That's what you said in your comment. I don't know why. I don't know what's gone on in this relationship. I don't know what your worries are. And it's not my job to know. You have to know. And you have to make the decision for you. 
There is no duck in it. There is no passing the book on this. You have to make the decision about everything in your life. You're the only one who's got your back. And if a little voice is telling you, I need to run, why is that little voice telling you that? What's happened? Anyway, I hope that you got the insight that you wanted from this video. I hope that you come to a decision that you can happily live with because you are the one who will have to live with this decision. Prenups don't work in every country and the countries they do work in, they only work because, the, because of the forbearance of the court because your marriage contract actually supersedes anything that you signed before the marriage. Do you see? It's a pre Nup. Also, it can be overturned in the event of divorce because a woman can say, I only signed it under duress. Especially this close to what you're saying is going to be your marriage. So, yeah, I mean, that's just a, a lawyer will take your money and write one up and do all of that and probably even tell you that, hey, in this country they don't work. But they'll still take your money. Because you instruct a lawyer what to do. And why would a woman sign a post nup after she's got the contract she wanted, which is the marriage contract? So I can't tell you what to do. All I can do is try and be a good teacher, a good brother, and give you my opinion and some information. But you have to make the decision for yourself. And the step one of that is, Find out what the laws are in the country you plan to live in, not the one you plan to get married in. Because where you're living is where the divorce is filed, and it's their laws that you will have to obey. Not the laws of the country that you got married in. Doesn't matter. It's the, it's the country of the divorce that happens that you have to worry about. So you need to know what their views are on it. Most of them have it written in, like I said before in my update, about you providing for your wife. Never matter whether you're married to her or not, it could be for life. You have to find out. You have to learn how to see. I'm not going to tell you what to see. You have to do that yourself. I'm trying to be a good brother by telling you to get off your backside, stop procrastinating, find out the information you need to help protect you. Don't just stumble into a marriage because it's the easy option and now you're water taking the path of least resistance. No, you're a rational thinking man and you need to use those skills to get the best outcome for you. About the uh, mental and emotional outcome, well, that depends on what decision you make. You might decide to go through with the marriage and have a blissfully happy marriage all the way through till the day you die. I would wish that for every brother. I really would. But unfortunately, women are chaotic. Women make their familiarity breeds contempt after a while, they do tend to get contemptuous of the person they're with and start looking for a new shiny thing, which you'll never be able to compete against. She knows all of your faults. New and shiny has no faults. I'm just saying that. I'm not telling you this is what's going to happen. The second scenario is that you do get married. You didn't listen to that little voice in your head telling you something's quite not quite right here. Maybe we should delay for a while, or maybe we should call it quits, or maybe we should have a sit down and talk. Maybe we should see a premarital counsellor about my concerns. All of those options are open to you. And you don't listen to that little voice and then have an absolute miserable time. Well, I would think in that situation, your mental health and your well-being is going to suffer. But I'm not a soothsayer. I can't read a crystal ball and tell you what your future holds for you. I have... I don't have enough information to even make a, make a judgment 
and what you have told me. All I can do is give you some small amount of advice. Uh, well, not even advice, opinion. In my opinion, if you give somebody advice, they take your advice, and things don't work out well, they blame you for giving the advice, not themselves for taking that advice and and doing what was said, instead of thinking for themselves. I'm sorry if I've got this wrong, Imadem, but it feels like you're trying to dodge responsibility for making a decision for yourself, and this is probably the biggest decision you will ever make in your life. So I kind of sympathise with you that, you know, it's scary, and it is. But only you can make it, and only you can make it for your benefit. So, take out the Japanese future to be wife or fiance as she is now, take her out of the equation for now. Don't think of how this is going to impact her. Think about how the future is going to impact you and make a decision on that. Because either way, if you end the relationship, you're going to hurt her. If you delay the marriage, you're going to hurt her. If you carry on and get married without raising your concerns, eventually you're going to hurt her. And that's kind of what I get, the feeling is that you, you don't want to do. You want a, an easy option, an easy out, without anybody getting hurt. If you split up with you, are you going to get hurt? If you stay with her, are you going to get hurt? If you delay things, is it going to hurt you? Probably yes to all three of those. But that's what it is to be a man. To be a man means you have to make the tough choices. There is no telling what your tough choice is going to be the outcome of it. You can't see the future any more than I can. All you can do is make a decision on the information you have at your fingertips. So, Imad N, and I do apologise if I'm screwing up the pronunciation of your name, but that is what I have to say on the subject. You have got to make a decision, and you've got to make one bloody quickly, because time's running out, and the longer you leave it, the harder it's going to be to make the right choice for you. Sit down on your own and try to take emotion out of it. Women live in emotion, we live in logic. Try to sit down, maybe give yourself a pad and paper and write pros and cons. Write all the cons to what you think can happen. Write all the pros to what you think can happen. See which one outweighs the other. Or just write your thoughts down so that you've got something to refer back to, so that your mind's not completely chaotic and jumbled up with. You can't see the wood for the trees. Maybe that's a way that'll help you. But your second comment to what I replied to you in your first comment, that kind of says a whole lot to me. There's a little voice in your head that's saying, should I just, just end it? Why is that little voice there? What What is that little voice telling you? What isn't right? Can it be fixed? I don't know. I don't have the answer to those questions, but you do. So, Imad N, I, um, I hope this video's helped. If nothing else, I hope it's helped focus your mind to at least get yourself to make a decision one way or the other. I'm not influencing you. You know my opinions on marriage. So that's not a surprise. But this is your life. You have to make a decision. And only you can. In the meantime, you take care of yourself, brother. All of you brothers out there, you take care of yourself. Because if you don't, who will? I'm going for a cup of tea because I think I've deserved one. And I don't envy your choice, my friend. I really don't. But you've got to make a choice. Because no choice is still a choice. If you let things carry on rolling and don't pull the trigger on ending it, going forward to the marriage or anything, 
it's going to happen and you will have made a choice by not making a choice because that's still a choice anyway i'll talk to you soon bye now